There's only one thing better than starting off the new year with a new servant, and that's starting off the new year with a new cute servant. How how everyone, Soberoni of Gene Day Reviews here, bringing you a servant spotlight for everyone's favorite little pyromaniac, Yang Guifei. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively, and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 5 star servants. So if you're ready to burn with desire for this adorable ancient alien, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring my bell so you can catch all of these spotlight videos as they go up and you can help out the channel. But for now, on to Yang's stats. Yang has a max HP of 13,365 and a max attack of 12,342. Yang actually has the highest attack stat among all foreigner servants, however her HP is very low for her class. But that doesn't matter too much since her HP is just about average for a 5 star servant, while her attack still stands head and shoulders above most other 5 stars. When it comes to her command cards, Yang has 4 hits on her quick card, 4 hits on her arts, 3 hits on her buster, and 4 hits on her extra card. She has an NP gain rate of 0.51% and a star rate of 15%. Yang's stats are surprisingly similar to Super Orion's, in that she is heavily geared toward offense, but she still retains a decent amount of HP, which makes her playstyle more in line with that of an all-rounder rather than a glass cannon. Due to her deck structure and high hit counts, Yang also has strong NP gain as well as above average star generating. Taking a look at her skills, Yang's first skill is Embodiment of 3000 Affections. It grants herself invincibility for one turn and charges her NP gauge by 10% every turn for three turns. It also taunts all male enemies for one turn and grants her between 5 and 15 crit stars depending on level. This can be upgraded through a strengthening quest into Embodiment of 3000 Affections rank A+, which changes the taunt to draw the attention of all enemies, not just males, and increases the star bomb effect to between 15 and 25 stars depending on level. Her second skill is One's Favorite Concubine, rank A. This skill absorbs all the enemy's NP gauge by 1 and increases Yang's NP gauge between 10 and 20%. It also reduces the defense of all enemies for 3 turns between 10 and 20%, both depending on level. And finally, her last skill is Son of the Calamitous Star, rank A. This skill grants her a special buff called Living Flame that lasts for 3 attacks or 3 turns. When being hit by enemies while this buff is active, Yang will reduce their defense by 10% and also inflict them with burn for 3 turns. That burn damage dealing between 500 and 1000 per turn, and she also increases her own defense for 3 turns between 10 and 20%, both of these effects depending on level. For her passive skills, Yang has Existence Outside of the Domain, rank EX, which generates 2 crit stars every turn, and increases her debuff resist by 12%, and she also has Divinity, rank B, which increases her damage by 175. Yang has an Arts Quick deck with Quick Quick, Arts Arts Buster, and an Arts Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Geisho Uihiyokuden... Her noble phantasm is Geisho Uihirokuren Kuren. <laughs> Her noble phantasm is Geisho Uihiyo. <laughs> Her noble phantasm is Geisho Uihiyo Kurenri. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> Her Noble Phantasm is Geisha Ui Hiyo Kudenri. It's an Arts Noble Phantasm that deals damage to a single enemy with between a 900 and 1500% damage modifier depending on level. It also inflicts the enemy with burn for 3 turns, dealing between 3000 and 6000 damage per turn, again depending on level. In addition to this effect though, it also deals increased damage to enemies who already have a burn debuff between 150 and 200% depending on overcharge. As a foreigner class servant, Yang's ascension mat requirements are very atypical, and she requires a lot more than the average servant. So in an effort to save some time and sanity, I will list her ascension mat requirements and then I'll drop a link to the FGO drop rate guide in the description so that you guys can take a look for yourselves where the best farm spots are. And I'll take a moment here to give a big thanks to everyone who compiled the data for the drop rate table. This document is a fantastic resource that every FGO player should have bookmarked. Now for her level ascensions, Yang does require 10 each of Bones, Void Dust, Talons, Feathers, Bloodstone Tears, Scarabs, Lamps, and Hearts. And for her skill leveling, she needs 10 Chains and Lamps, 12 Snake Jewels, Stakes and Bells, and 15 Reactor Cores, Mirrors, and Star Shards per skill. So suffice it to say, she's not an easy to level servant. 
Don't let the cute face and innocent demeanor fool you, because underneath that 10 out of 10 body lies the heart of a demon. Yang's offensive power shouldn't be underestimated. She not only has the highest attack stat of all servants in her class, but she also has respectably high NP gain and star generating to complement it. And while her HP is her weakest stat, it's by no means bad, and it's more than enough to allow Yang to tank a couple of big hits. In other words, she has impressive stats all across the board, but what really sets her apart from most other servants is her wildly unique and innovative playstyle. Yang is not the typical self-buffing or crit-focused DPS. Her skill set revolves entirely around a very specific gimmick, debuffing and burning enemies. Nearly everything in her kit exists to soften up enemies as much as possible and then laying the burn on them. And key to this strategy is her third skill, Son of the Calamitous Star. This skill grants Yang a unique buff that causes any enemy who attacks her to receive a 10% defense down and be burned up to 3 times. It also gives Yang a small 20% bump to defense to help her better tank those hits. This skill is pretty self-explanatory, you are gonna want enemies to hit Yang as much as possible so they can debuff themselves and become burned. A 10% defense down may not seem like a lot, but provided that the same enemy is hitting her, that can be a massive 30% defense down for 3 turns, which translates into a situationally better charisma. And thankfully Yang doesn't even need to rely on RNG to be the target of aggression, because her first skill, Embodiment of 3000 Affection, is a one turn taunt against male enemies that also grants Yang invincibility, as well as generates stars and passively charges her NP gauge every turn. Naturally, this skill is meant to be used in combination with her burn skill to guarantee the debuff on enemies. But the usefulness of this skill goes beyond that. The invincibility and taunt combination gives her a very Shi Huang Di style utility tool that helps her tank and completely nullify most enemy single target NPs for the party. The star generating and NP gain also help her a lot with indirectly buffing her DPS through her crits and her ability to NP spam. The only downside to the skill is that it only works on male enemies at first, which hinders its usefulness greatly. However, after a strengthening quest, it does gain the ability to affect all enemies, not just men, which removes any drawbacks. Finally, Yang has one additional piece of utility in her second skill, One's Favorite Concubine, which trains all enemies NP charge to charge her own, very similar to vampirism, and it also debuffs enemies defense by 20%. NP drain is already a very good piece of stall utility, but the fact that this is an AoE NP drain on top of it also boosting Yang's NP gauge just takes this skill over the edge and it makes it excellent for both stalling in challenge quests and for boosting her NP spam. Similarly, the defense down can stack up with her Living Flame debuff to potentially hit enemies with a massive 50% defense down. Skill priority for Yang should definitely be her NP drain first for that better charge, followed by the taunt just for better star generating, and then Calamitous Star last because it doesn't really scale with level. For a pen skills, mana loading works best first, followed by the extra card damage, and then you can take the anti-ruler damage if you don't already have an Avenger. Yang's Noble Phantasm is as straightforward as it gets. It's a single target arts nuke that burns enemies and also deals bonus damage against already burned enemies. Do note that the burn does not activate first, so the enemy does already have to be burned for that bonus damage to trigger. The bonus damage modifier though is massive, and it gives Yang the highest NP damage potential among all foreigners, which is impressive considering that it's a very easy condition to meet and it can apply to any enemy in the game. By taking advantage of the burn bonus on her NP, Yang can push out very high amounts of damage despite her class not being the best offensively. This also makes Yang one of the few servants who can alter her gameplay significantly through the use of command codes, since so many of them will allow her to burn enemies without having to rely on her taunt. Being able to burn enemies with just command cards is a huge upgrade for Yang especially since she's already able to spam her Noble Phantasm thanks to her good NP gain. But what really makes Yang interesting is that she can be a top tier offensive character while playing completely defensively like a tank. Like Shi Huang Di before her, she can rely on the stalling and the tankiness that her skills provide her to be one of the few true tanks in FGO, while simultaneously debuffing the enemy and bolstering her own damage. Of course, to do all of this, Yang relies heavily on being able to land those debuffs. 
She lives and dies by the sword. When she's able to consistently land debuffs and burns, she is nearly unstoppable, but if an enemy is immune or resistant to them, then she quickly becomes a paperweight with no damage or utility. It also doesn't help that she has somewhat long cooldowns, so it's hard for Yang to maintain consistent damage, and it makes her reliance on the burn inflicting command codes even greater. In the right team comps though, and provided that the enemy isn't immune to debuffs, Yang can be an elite servant in both damage and support. Thankfully, Yang works exceptionally well in most arts teams, especially in stall teams. So you'll want to pair her with arts servants who can provide her with consistent healing, buffs, and NP charge like Tamamo, Abigail, and Mosh. Tamamo's healing and cooldown reduction are perfect for keeping Yang around almost indefinitely in most battles, while Abby can make for a good offensive support capable of bolstering Yang's damage and charging her NP gauge. As for Mosh, she is always a good choice for stall teams, and her defensive buffs and taunt do synergize very well with Yang's. For a more offensive setup, consider pairing Yang with allies who can burn enemies, or who benefit from debuffing like Tomoe, Uriel, and Lan Ling. Tomoe gives Yang access to another source of burn, while Uriel and Lan Ling are good for assisting with stalling out enemies. Uriel in particular benefits a lot from Yang's supportive skill set for increasing her single target damage. Yang's Bond CE is Purple Jade Flute. It increases NP damage by 30% and inflicts the Spread Fire effect with each attack. If this CE inflicted Burn instead of Spread Fire, it would be game changing. But unfortunately, as it is, it's not worth using over more offensive CEs like Black Grail, Sign of a Smiling Face, or Royal Icing. Generally, craft essences with attack stats that boost arts or NP damage are going to be best for Yang. But for a slightly more support oriented build, crit star generating CEs like 2030, Annual General Meeting, and Welcome Bunny are good as well. In the future, I do recommend Ocean Flyer. It's a strong free to play offensive CE that gives starting NP charge and NP damage. Command codes are extremely important for Yang, and I highly recommend stacking as many burn command codes on her as possible, like Gentleman with a Brilliant Goatee, Jin Lamp, Meteoric Bellows, and True Crimson Command Seal. Put all of them on her. You're going to want Yang to engulf enemies in flame just by looking at them. All in all, Yang is a unique DPS servant who manages to do what very few other servants can, excel at everything. Compared to every other foreigner in the game, and indeed most other 5 star servants, she is able to output ludicrous amounts of burst damage due to her high attack, strong bonus damage against burned enemies, and good NP spam capabilities. Her kit is also tailor made for taking on tough boss fights, thanks to the very high utility skills and defensive stalling ability. And even in a semi support role, she can be a solid backup to your main DPS with her many defense down debuffs and star generating. She can be a little difficult to use, mostly due to her long cooldowns, and ultimately her over reliance on debuffing enemies means that she is absolutely hard countered by debuff immunity, which isn't really that uncommon. Still though, Yang gets an A- from me at release, which is upgraded to an A after her strengthening quest or if you're able to give her burn inflicting command codes. I think there's an argument to be made for Yang being the best foreigner in FGO, depending on what exactly you're looking for, but she is without a doubt the most well rounded one and she belongs up there with some of the best art servants in the game in my opinion. Just be wary of those pesky debuff immune enemies. And those are my thoughts on Yang. It's a shame that this wasn't a thigh tier list though because Yang would be an easy S rank there. I can definitely see why she's the embodiment of 3000 affections from this angle. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over to discord, chill with us on twitch and follow us on twitter and I'll see you all in the next servant spotlight. So burn you out, later.